uh, well, we'll have to see. We'll see where this one's going first. Uh, looks like we're already in the second video. We'll, we'll see what happens. Um, I guess on this one, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about it. Everyone, I'm not alone in this. God's with me. Christ walks with me. My mama and papa are watching down too. Um, my mother, above all, kind of warned me about this stuff. Uh, I didn't see any. I didn't really see any reason to change a whole lot because it wouldn't matter. It just I would be miserable. And uh, I'm gonna take you all outside for a minute. I'm gonna have a cigarette <clears throat> because I'm cancer prone. That ought to be a little lesson to boys and girls out there. Um, just because you see someone doing it don't mean it's good for anybody. But let's go outside for a minute. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reflect. So it's like this. Sisters and brothers. Those that serve with me. You're going through some problems right now. I know it. You know it. Hell, I'm going through the same problems, man. How can you battle per, uh, depression when you just got a fucking shitload of health problems, man? I guess that. I guess that just uh, the health problems get your mind off the really, really bad ones. I want to point that over there because I don't want anybody seeing me do this. You know, beautiful scenery. I'm not really worried about dying. I'm not really worried about leaving this world because I'm ready. My soul's prepared. It's been prepared for over 30 years through trouble times, man. And uh, all I could say is uh, I just I just pray to God to give me enough time to get things set up to where you know. I could do like seven pounds of the movie without, of course, killing myself. I just want enough time to get things prepped to where, you know, there's more than one person that can benefit from my death. And, and I know that sounds morbid, but I, I'd, be, I'd be happier crossing over and going to God knowing that, you know, that transition helped people. I know it sounds noble, sounds honorable, but that's just me. I don't want no recognition. I don't want no one to say, hey, you know, you're a hell of a guy. You're a stand-up dude, man. That don't do me no good here. Doesn't do me any good when I leave this place. I'm just me. I'm like you. You know, I was hardened and trained well and um, trained to seek out the enemy and eliminate them. But, uh, and I did it very well. I did it very well. But I always, always had God in my heart. And it always, always hurt. And I was always, always scared. But um, Mike's got the good idea from Fearless and Far. You got to face your fears. You're going to be scared. Everybody's scared. You got to face that fear. And you got to conquer it. You got to show that sucker who's boss, man. And that's, tell that's telling the devil he... he it gets the house behind me, Satan. And that's what he that's what he is. He's behind me. He's not behind me in a good way. He's he's way behind me because the Lord's got his hand on my shoulder. And God's God's got my heart. And um 
My fear is just the how many people is gonna hurt, if anybody at all. I don't know. If I was to die today, there would I don't think there would be anybody at my funeral. I won't I wouldn't care. I'm just a shell of a body sitting in the coffin. That's all it is. What matters is what's up there, folks, man. And you got to see that. You can't take it with you, man. I become so simplistic that a lot of people think I'm crazy because I don't have shit. No, I'm not crazy, man. Well, if I'm crazy, I'm crazy like a fox or like a wolf. <laughs> you know. Anyways, y'all, I'm going to see what the time is and see if even number two comes out. <laughs> but there's my door. And I doubt it's been just five minutes, but who knows. Well, we'll, we'll go on a little bit. Maybe there's a three in this. I don't know. But it's funny. It's not so bad when you find out bad news like that, when you, find, when you actually know who you are, where you came from, and where you're going. Right now, I'm going to the Philippines, y'all. And um, there ain't nothing, there ain't nothing no one can do to me or say to me or, or what life can throw me that I haven't been thrown before. I, I was born, man. I was born in in the pain. That's why I understand the scripture. You know, we are all born within sin, and that pretty much means that you can't help it. But you're in an evil and sinful environment. And it's just what path you take is what matters. I'm not gonna get too deep with you all. Um, I'm hoping for the best. I'm praying, I'm praying for God's best choice. And God's best choice may not be that I, I live this time. I do some stuff. I don't do drugs. I don't do liquor. I drink my beer. I smoke. Um, how actually probably the most painful but most easiest cancer to get over is colon cancer but it comes with a degree of indignity if it's severe they have to cut out parts of your colon so therefore you no longer pooping what you should you should you're pooping in a bag that's drilled on the side of you on a catheter um, I knew someone that went through that he got stabbed and had colon damage it's not dignified you know you can't ride on a plane without somebody saying Is somebody shit in here oh, excuse my language but uh, that's about the truth and you can't do nothing about it. You can't help it. You can't help where you are. Hell, man, give me a seat in the bathroom, man. So I don't offend people. I've been through this once, but my ba my my baby, my uh, first wife, I love her to death still. You know, there's always room for a second wife, and I've done that. Sometimes I guess you got to make room. But uh, my first one went through this with me. And good Lord, that was the best relief I ever got. He said, we don't want to see you in 10 years. Hallelujah. I mean, going to be back for 10 years. But uh, here we go. It's been 15, folks. Yeah. Uh, I guess my only regret is procrastination on VA's part and my part. Well, I'm going to let y'all go. Like, share, and subscribe.